my beauty licious babes how are you guys going so as you can hear my voice is a little bit croaky today i've come down with the flu lucky me <laughs> so hopefully you guys will be able to understand me as i do this voiceover i'll make sure i speak as clearly as possible for you guys so first of all i'm going to be applying nyx jumper pencil and milk all over my lips to make them nice and opaque and create a nice blank canvas for the shadows that we will be applying over top so that they stand out more against the white rather than having the skin color impacting those colors then i'm just going to buff it out with my real techniques buffer brush so that it's nice and blended up towards the brow bone and there's no harsh lines then what i want to do is set that in place with white lies from makeup geek it's a nice matte white eyeshadow and i'm just placing that all over the lid using a light layer Nothing too heavy or intense because we're just setting that cream in place so it won't crease later on and it's a lot easier to blend shadow on shadow rather than have to blend like shadow on cream. It just creates a streaky mess so having a shadow there will help create a nice seamless blend. Next I'm going in with my Morphe 350 palette and taking that soft brown shade from the palette, the perfect transition colour for my skin tone and I just apply that in the crease with a soft crease brush. And blend it back and forth nothing too fancy with this like I said it's just a transition color so that the other colors that we apply over top will blend out nice and seamlessly next I'm going to take Neptune from Makeup Geek it's a gorgeous royal blue eyeshadow and I'm placing that on the outer corner so the outer V with a petite crease brush from Zoeva so I like to start off by packing that color on my outer V and then as I place more color and blend it through I'm just dragging it across the outer part of the lid area. So I'm bringing it about a third of the way across. Then I'm taking my fluffy crease brush from Zoeva again and I'm just buffing out the edges of Neptune with some of that transition brown shade that we used before. Once you've blended out the edges of that, we're going to go in with Poolside and we're just going to be packing that baby right on the center of the lid using nice packing motions this is a waver brush as well and i'm just packing this poolside shade right on the center and then using light packing motions where neptune meets poolside so that they blend a bit more seamlessly and hun don't worry if you find that it's really choppy and the edges aren't blended softly because that is what the next step is for so just pack on that color till it's to your desired pigmentation and once I've done that, I'm grabbing the petite crease brush again with Neptune on it. And I'm using light circular motions where the two colors meet to create a nice transition and a gradient. So that's a nice soft transition. And you can't tell where poolside begins or Neptune ends. It's just a beautiful seamless transition. And I also bring some of that Neptune shade back through the crease again because it did get a bit lost there when we were applying poolside down and i do want to keep that blue in the crease area to create that nice elongated almond shape and i just like how it looks so that's what i did <laughs> yeah next i'm taking poison plum from sugar pill it's a gorgeous cool tone blue purple i nearly said blue there it's a gorgeous cool tone purple and i'm packing that on the outer v area with a pencil brush from zoeva and I, what all you're doing guys is just packing it on the outer lid area don't drag it out towards the tail of the brow just keep it focused on the outer most part of the eye because all i'm doing is just deepening up that royal blue eyeshadow and because i felt like it wasn't dark enough that's why i added the purple in and because it is a cool toned undertone it just blends so seamlessly in with the blue so it looks really nice and it just ties in so well with the colors that we've used once I've packed on the colour in the outer V and a bit through the crease as well, I'm going to take Neptune again on that same petite crease brush and just pack it on right over top of that purple to just deepen it up and also blend it through the crease as well. Then because I felt like Neptune wasn't blending in to my skin that well, I had a genius idea <laughs> and I just used poolside on my fluffy crease brush again and blended out the edges of Neptune because the softer blue with the deeper blue is just going to help blend out those edges and then I went in with my transition color and just helped that softer blue blend in with my skin tone to create that nice seamless gradient effect 
Next is my favourite part of this whole entire look, guys. This prismatic eyeshadow from NYX. It's the mermaid one. And the camera does not do it justice at all. It is the most beautiful shade I've ever seen in my entire life. The formula is really good. It packed on so easily. I'm using a Morphe MB16 brush, by the way. It's just a chisel shader brush. I'm just packing on that colour on the inner part, in the inner third of my lid, right up to where poolside is, so that there's a nice gradient from poolside into mermaid. So if you guys can see the trend going on, I'm just creating a nice gradient effect from that gorgeous mermaid shadow into the poolside, into Neptune, into Poison Plum. Then what I do is I go back in with Neptune on a gloss pencil brush and I just bring it back through the crease all the way almost towards the inner corner so I'd say it's about two thirds in not quite to the inner corner but almost there. Then I go back over poolside again because it can get a little bit lost with mermaid sitting on top of it you know that happens <laughs> and then for my second favorite part guys this gorgeous foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. What can I say it was a Makeup Geek kind of day so I'm placing Pegasus, which is this gorgeous forward eyeshadow, right smack bam on the center of the lid, right over poolside, to just give a bit of a pop on the center of the lid, and it just brought this look together. It was absolutely gorgina. I freaking loved it. <laughs> and what I did is I went back in with Neptune and also with Poison Plum. I just deepened up those colors where it was needed to create that soft gradient effect so I used soft swiping motions with a very light hand and also brought it back through the crease as well and basically what I did is I just brought some of that colour on each shade so I put some more of Mermaid on and some more of like Pegasus on it just to create the nice you know colour depth to it because it can get lost with blending so just touch up where is needed guys once you've done your eyeshadow I'm going to go in with lashes and these lashes are the most stunning things I've seen in my life. These are the feisty lashes from Anitude and Hun. They brought this look together. I feel like lashes are really important to any makeup look and these ones did it justice. They didn't cover up the eyeshadow too much. They were just perfect. They didn't, you know, take away from the eye. They just gave, gave it a bit more drama to it. That's what I want with any eye, eye shadow look. Next I'm going in and tight lining my tight line with a black eye curl from BYS and then for the waterline I went in with Ocean Green from BYS again and I just placed that again along my waterline. The only thing with these BYS curls is that they're not very pigmented so I had to go back in with Poolside and set it right over the Ocean Green shadow to give it a bit more pigmentation to it. Then I'm dragging Poolside along the bottom lash line with a gloss pencil brush this is going to be our transition colour for the other shades that we apply on top afterwards. So you don't have to do any you know, rhyme or reason to it. Just place it on the outer corner and blend whatever's left towards the inner corner. And yeah, just blend away so it's nice and smoky and just like a soft wash of blue. Then we're going to grab Neptune and we're basically just going to repeat what we did on the eyelid. So we're going to bring Neptune from outer corner to inner corner. So we're creating that gradient effect. So we're adding deeper shades as we go along as we get closer to the lash line. So with Neptune, what you're going to do is just blend along the lash line from outer corner to inner corner to just deepen it up a little bit and create that nice gradient effect. And then what you're going to do is grab Poison Plum on a definer brush. This is the Morphe 326 brush. And I'm just wiggling that product nice and tightly against my lash line from outer corner about two thirds of the way across and just blending it up out softly with a bit of Neptune. Then I'm going to grab Pegasus, the gorgeous foiled blue eyeshadow, and I'm placing that on the inner part of the eye, along the inner part of the lash line, the bottom lash line, to create a nice gradient effect from the blues into the mermaid inner corner eyeshadow. So next what we're doing is we're grabbing mermaid and some of Ice Queen. It's a gorgeous like white shimmery highlight from my NYX contour and highlight kit. And I'm, placing, I'm mixing those two together and placing them on my inner corner to create a nice inner corner highlight and I'm blending it into Pegasus so it's a nice gradient effect because I just love that gradient smoky eye as you can tell. <laughs> then I'm placing just Ice Queen on my brow bone for a nice brow bone highlight and going in with that soft crease brush from Zoeva with some of Poolside on it and blending out Ice Queen with Poolside so that there's no harsh lines into the eyeshadow. 
Finally, I'm going in with some bottom lash mascara. You guys can use whatever your favorite bottom lash mascara is. I'm just using this black one. It's unbranded. I'm just wiggling that along my lashes so that they're nice and opaque. And that is the finished eye look, my loves. I am so proud of how it turned out is my new favorite look. I'm going to be wearing this everywhere, and I mean everywhere. <laughs> so guys, if you did like this look, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you, if you would like, I would really appreciate it <laughs> if you subscribe to my channel down below. Just click that red button. It's free. It's easy to do. And you guys can join my YouTube fam bam and stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Uh, with this look, guys, I did forgot to say, I just paired it with a nude lip just because I feel like a bold lip would take away from the eyes. But if you would like, you can use a bold, you know, blue lip, whatever lip you would like to pair with this. I just did a very nude lip with some lip gloss on there. So I hope you guys have an incredible, amazing, stupendous day. <laughs> and if no one already has told you today, you are beautiful. You are so loved. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye, my loves.